What's going on guys? It's XS again with Team Alternal. I'm here to show you how to push files using ADB. This is um, basically a really good tool to use if you are working on a file, an app or something, you want to test it out, you don't want to have to flash it or or you need to put it to your system and you can't install it. Um, basically what you do is you can push files to your data folders, to your system folders, uh, you can push bins, jars, pretty much anything you want to the phone, wallpapers and all. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through the process here. Tell you how to get the get the ADB without having to go through um, um, Android SDK, and uh, it takes about probably 10 minutes to do it all. Here you go. First thing you wanna do is you wanna go to team nocturnalcom and go up to the top toolbar here, and you wanna go to development, and you wanna go to the second link here. It's I'm sorry, the first link on under the how-to guides. It says how to install and it says ADB and Fastboot Windows. You can click on that. Um, scroll down through the guide a little bit. When you get right above this picture, the first picture right here, you don't go up here, it says download. It'll say 34 MB, ADB, Fastboot, and other tools. Go ahead and click download that. Save it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it to. I already downloaded it, so I have to do that now. So after you get it downloaded, you're going to have the file right here on your desktop. Okay? Um, you can open it up with 7-Zip or WinRAR if you prefer to use. I recommend 7-Zip for anything that has to do with APKs and stuff like that because it doesn't damage them that bad. Um, so what you're going to do is go ahead and open it up right there. You're going to drag out the Android folder to your desktop. All right, after you do that, you're going to have this Android folder sitting right here. You can go ahead and close the zip file. Open the Android folder up and you have all these little files in here. Okay. As you can see, I have one that says cmd.exe. In order to get that there, you're going to go to, if you're, on, if you're Windows 7 or Windows, um, I believe Vista has this too, and Windows 8, type in CMD in the search when you click start. And what you're going to do here is copy this. This is an easy shortcut. Just copy that and just paste it inside of here. Don't cut it, just copy it. What this does is instead of having to type in C slash CD slash all that stuff like that to, re to get to the directory, this puts you right in the directory. So go ahead and open that up, and there you go, see, it says desktop Android, already there. Um, from here, we want to test if ADB is working. So what you want to do is take your phone, in my case you got the Evo 3D, take your, your USB cable, plug it in, make sure it's all connected, set your phone back down, and what you're going to do is over here type in ADB devices. And right there, it says my phone right there, you know, HT16JH, and so on and so forth. So that means your phone is, is uh, showing up. If it doesn't show up, if nothing comes up there, um, reboot your phone. Or make sure you have your drivers installed on your computer for your particular model phone. This works on any Android device. Um, so make sure you have your drivers installed for your 32-bit or 64-bit, whatever you have. And then um, make sure you have, on your cell phone, make sure you have developer tools turned on. So what you want to go is go to settings. Okay, and then you're going to go to um, applications. Then you're going to go to development. And right here you see it says USB debugging. Make sure that's checked. If that's not checked, um, this one will work. So make sure USB debug is checked. You got that all set up, you get the driver installed. Um, and all that good stuff, this is going to work just fine. So once you get this point, your phone's connected, you know it's showing up, so you're good there. Um, from here on out, you can do a lot of options. You can you know, view, view the uh, log cat as it's active, see what's going on in the phone. You can type in ADB log cat, and it shows you everything happening on the phone. So if I say I hit an app or something, it shows you see what you're doing right there, your, your processes. Okay, so go ahead and hit Control C to cancel that out and you're back at the main menu. Alright, now what you want to do, we're going to push some apps. So, let me show you here first, what I have going on. I have the Sprint voicemail app right here. Okay, this is Visual Voicemail app. What I'm going to do is delete this file real quick. So you can show, I'm going to push it back in here and it'll be like it never deleted. Alright, so you can do is, I'm going to go to ES File Explorer. Um, what you want to do, when, if you have EX File Explorer, you want to go to Settings, and you are going to make sure you have Root Explorer checked and Mount 
file system check. This will let you um, delete and edit files in the system. So let's go ahead to the phone's root. Okay, let me do list view here. You can go to system, app, and I'm going to delete the voicemail app just so you can see I'll put it back in here. Let's see here. Alright, so there it is. Let me go ahead and delete that. Yes. Alright, so that's deleted. So now, okay, I crashed that app. Alright, so now, as you can see, there's no voicemail app in there. No more visual voicemail. Now, we're going to push it. So what you want to do is, take your voicemail app, or whatever, this is just an example, it could be any app you want. So here's my voicemail app sitting right here. It says voicemail.apk. I place it right in the ADB, or at, right in the Android folder, where ADB is, is uh, the root is for ADB. Place it right in there. Open your command prompt up. You can type in ADB space push space voicemail dot apk space. And now here's the part what you want to do. You can either put it in the data folder so you can uninstall it later right on the phone, or you can put it back in the system folder. I put mine in the system because that's where I, I keep it because I'm, I'm not going to delete it anyway. So I'm going to put mine in the system, but if you want to put data, you can put um, data forward slash app forward slash and hit enter and it'll push it out of that folder. So I'm going to do system instead. Type in system forward slash app and forward slash and then hit enter. And as you can see, it pushed a file and so it tells you the size of the file and everything. So let's go back to the phone here. Let's go to the thing down here. And there's a voicemail again right here. See? And as you can see, it works. Now you can do it with any file you want. Um, you can do it with a bin file. You can do it with... Um, you can even do it with, with zip files. Anything you want to push your phone, you'll push right through here. Um, this is good if you don't have like an SD card or... Um, you can't mount the system for some reason. This will work pretty, really good. Um, so let's try pushing something to the data fold file. All right, so here we go. Um, I'm going to push, let me see what app I have here. I'm going to push the Wi-Fi, the wire, a, um, I'm sorry, ADB wireless app, which is sitting right here on my phone. ADB wireless. So let's go ahead and delete that real quick. So let me go back to ES File Explorer. Go to the root of the phone. This one's in the data folder. So you, what you're going to do is go to data, then go to, minute, then go to app, and there's AD wireless. So go ahead and delete that. Delete. Are you sure? Yes. Boom, and there it's gone. Yes, I know. Okay. Now there's no more AD wireless in there. Okay. So let's go ahead and push that real quick. So if you want to do, I have the file sitting right here on my desktop. I'm just going to rename it AD Wireless. .apk. So go ahead and place that right into your root directory of the APK tools. And what you want to do is um, type in the same command: ADB space push space ADB Wireless. .apk. And you can put data forward slash app forward slash and hit enter and that's been pushed now sometimes if it doesn't show up the first time you can reboot and it'll show up but there it is ADB wireless and it's working so and that's that there's other commands here you can do like um say your phone's frozen or um your touch screen is inactive touch it, nothing's happening, um, you can't shut it off, you hit the power button, nothing goes on, and you don't want to do a battery pull, what you can do, put the phone right here real quick, you can see it, you can go ahead up here and type in ADB reboot, turn the screen back on, reboot, just like that, boom, let it do its thing, let it communicate with the phone, and the phone's going to reboot itself. It'll take a few seconds here, it's not instant. But it should be, yeah, see the phone's locked up, so it's, 
It's doing its thing now. And there it goes. Now say you're stuck in uh, on a splash screen or something for example. Um, you can't get past your flash, your, your boot screen or it's boot looping and stuff like that. Um, you want to type in, hook your phone back up, type in ADB reboot and I don't know, let's see you won't go in recovery or the bootloader. But I'm going to type in recovery. So it's ADB space reboot space recovery. Hit that. And the phone's going to stop what it's doing and go right into recovery. And there you go. Do what you got to do. Um, it also works with bootloader. I'm not sure it works in recovery. Let me check real quick. ADB. So I'm doing ADB space reboot space bootloader right from recovery. And as you can see, it works from there too. So if you're stuck in recovery, you can also use these commands to get out of recovery into your bootloader um, and do what you got to do to your phone. Uh, once in bootloader, you know, just hit reboot and do you know. That's it. And that's how you use ADB. If you have any questions, um, comments, uh, go ahead and post them down the bottom of the video. Um, if you want to subscribe, go ahead. Uh, for more tips and tricks, you can go to team Uh We're always looking for new members. Uh, if you want to help us out with anything, go ahead and join. Uh, you can PM me, Gruesome Wolf, um, or any other developers on the site. This is Excess Magic with Team Nocturnal signing out.